Hello everybody, welcome back to Mark Church. Got a surprise here today of what we're fixing to do. Let me get the sawmill started up so I can run these logs up out here. I'll take you out here and show you what we've got going on. If you can see around the refrigerator there, we've got some 16 foot cedar. We're gonna saw six by sixes out of them, I think's what they said. I've gotta go out here and make sure before we start sawing. Some of them just barely gonna make it six by six. They may have said five by five. Either way, we're fixing to saw some big poles. Some of them ain't gonna make it. Not 16 foot long. This one here got a bad crook on the end. Look, that's pretty. I can't think of the name of that stuff now. Looks like ferns. They're growing all over that one. It gets the rest of them here to put on. Maybe they'll make five by five. We need to put a new blade on. We'll be ready to saw these. comes our first cedar on that we're gonna make a five by five pole out of it. I don't know what he's doing with these. If I can ever get it to come off there, I guess he'll have to roll it off. It's got a bow in it and it won't turn on over. I'm gonna be cutting three quarter inch slabs off of it. I need to go down one more cut. I didn't hardly get low enough. Maybe this one up. Work. I should have went down one more. What I'm trying for is about a six inch face. I didn't hardly get it. Not over the whole log. It'll probably make a one by six, about eight foot long. This slab will. Getting much water, I'm gonna have to go out there and get the water turned up a little higher. This one here make a a good one by six, probably about eight or ten foot long. I'll have to take one more three-quarter cut off the other side. And then I should be able to get a good clean five by five out of it then. I don't believe that blade's gonna last long. It sure don't sound like it. It's gotta sound like it's gonna break. I think that's gonna make a real pretty five by five. Gonna make some pretty good cedar boards too, those three quarter boards. Got one more cut after this one and we'll have our five by five made. Got two more cuts. I'll be down to five by five. I'm pretty and red. I've turned it over here. We'll try to make this other side a little bit more red. Take some of this white off of it. That's south wood, that white is. I don't know what he's really gonna use these for. 
I'm assuming some type of post. I'm not positive. A bow and a log will really show up when it's long. Some of these are just barely big enough to make a five by five and they got a little bow in them. And you just can't get a clean five by five out of them. Or it's hard to. I've been turning them and turning them and trying to get a little bit of bark I can off of them here and there. And like this one coming right here, I don't think there's no way to get a five by five. Now I might can get a 10 foot one. I wished I'd have talked to him to see how long he would have wanted them. Daddy talked to him and I, I don't know how long he wanted them. It's gonna push this one to even make a five by five. I'm having to take so much of it off. Yeah, I believe it'd make a, about a 10 foot one. Maybe he'll be happy with that. It may make one longer than I'm thinking. It come on out here to the end better than I thought it would. We about done here today. I'm fixing to shut it off. What part of the saw milling do y'all like to see the most? If you would, put it in the comments. It would help me out a lot. Sometimes I don't really know what the video on the saw mill. I hate to video things that's just boring. And if you would put in the comments what parts you like the best, or if you'd like to have the camera set up in a different position or something. I keep it in here to where I can kind of talk and explain as we're going. But I can set it up out there in other places. I believe I was a little bit off on this and it probably made more like a 14 foot 5 by 5 But if he's going to put it in the ground, he might be all right. There's about two foot of it here got bark on it. Here's the five by five beams here, or post, whatever they're gonna use them for. See right here is what some cedar has in the heart of it. I don't know if y'all can see or not with this sun the way it is, but that's kind of doty like streaks in the middle of it. You just never know when that's gonna be in there. You can be sawing a perfectly good looking log and all of a sudden it'll have them streaks in it. These are 16 foot long, pretty good sized beams. Well, I thank y'all for watching and I pray God blesses you and I'll see you in the next one.